everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jayla Vaughn back with another video yes I'm back with another video in today's video again if you have read the title then you already know what this video is about that's why you clicked on it but I did just want to let you know before we hop into the video that I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers so do not forget to like comment and definitely hit that subscribe button and help your girl out um oh yeah Check my description as well and make sure you go and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I am active on all social medias. Now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some body oils. Um, they are like impressions of perfumes, but in my opinion, my oil lady, she's the best oil lady out there. It's just in, in my opinion and her perfume oils, they really smell like the actual perfume. So if it's a perfume that I'm like, uh, I don't know if I was in a department store and smelled it, you know, usually I spray it on me, walk around, see how I feel about it. Some of these perfumes I just weren't feeling, but I decided to give them a second chance and try them in the oils just to see. And just some of them I just like and have already smelled and hadn't got the perfume um, I just got the oil because they are $1 and they work real good. So that way I don't have to get the perfume right away. But I just had to let you guys know that some of these are impressions of perfumes before we got into this video because I don't want to constantly repeat that. Now, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first one that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, it is Greenwich Village. My camera is my camera picking up on it. Anyways, it's uh, impressions of Green uh, Village by <clears throat> um, Bond Number Nine. Now, some of the notes in that is water lily, musk, peony, and jasmine. Um, this was my first time ever smelling it, and it smells it smells pretty good. Um, I have not had a chance to actually wear this one out, but just. Sniffing it, it, it smells pretty good. And I haven't had a chance to smell that perfume either. I, I, yeah, I haven't had a chance, but I have heard good things about it here on YouTube. So I decided that, hey, I see this oil. Let me go ahead and get it. So, so I got it. <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to let you guys know. Like I said, it smells pretty good in the bottle. Um, It smells a little fruity to me. A little fruity. Yeah, it smells like a, a fluty, uh, fluty. It smells like a fruity, um, flirty scent. That's what it smells like to me, um, so far. But like I said, I haven't actually got the chance to wear this one. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. You know, I'll keep you guys updated on what I, what I think about it. But that was the first one. The second one, I have actually, um, worn my cousin, he... Yes, I said he. He has this um cologne on his dresser. And so I guess it's men. I think it's unisex. But um anyways, it is Tom Ford Umbre Leather. I write in the notes in Tom Ford Umbre Leather is leather, jasmine, and moth. Moth. Lord Jesus, I'm having a day. But um anyways, to me this smells like it smells like leather. Um, it smells good. It smells like I'm telling you. You know, I got a I got a visual for y'all. Okay, it smells like someone with um a sexy like leather coat on. Um, in my opinion, you know, because I'm a woman, it smells like a woman that has on a leather coat, but underneath she got on some lingerie. Maybe she is about to surprise her her man or whoever she with. Or it also smells like. Stay with me now. It smells like somebody that got on like a cute outfit, but they got some leather thigh high boots. Yeah, that's what this smells like. It smells, it smells sexy. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. And like I said, I've already tried this. I have a sample of this. I did spray, like I said, my cousin's off of his dresser. Um, this is the very first Tom Ford scent that has actually you know made me interested in Tom Ford I had smelled the bitter peach and the cherry and, and just all these other ones I didn't and still don't like any 
of those but this one piqued my interest so i actually like this one and i'm gonna wear the the oil a little bit until i you know get my coins up and then i'm gonna go and actually get me a bottle of the cologne but this smells good like i said this is the first and the only tom ford that i have smelled that i actually like probably an unpopular opinion but anyways <laughs> moving on to the next one so the next one is something that I'm sure you guys have all smelled. Um, it is Victoria's Secret Love Spell. And that's what this is. The Impressions of Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. The Notes and Love Spell is Cherry Blossom Peach cam Chamomile. Now everybody know that this is a fruity scent. A fruity floral scent. Oh, yes. Whew. I don't even know if this one even needs an introduction or for me to tell you guys how it smells, but it is a beautiful fruity floral scent. I get more of the fruity than I do the floral, but it's mixed perfectly. If you have smelled Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, it smells exactly like Love Spell. Love Spell, and it does project because it is an oil, and oils usually last longer than a body spray and a lot of the times they last longer than perfumes as well so this smells just like love spell from victoria's secret and that's what it's based on so a hundred percent hundred percent they got it right so that's this one all right so the next one that i'm going to be sharing with you guys and this perfume is so popular on youtube i smelled it i didn't like it i figured i would give it a revisit in the oil form and wet around a little bit and that is delena yeah yeah it's really popular on youtube but when i smelled it i didn't like it but let me just give you the note that's in the you know the real perfume um i have peony nutmeg and rose um I didn't like it. I didn't like it on my skin when I um sprayed the perfume. It was just mediocre to me. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. It, it it didn't it didn't it. When I say I didn't like it, I don't mean that it was stink. I mean just it wasn't anything to the perfume personally to me that made me say oh okay i have to have this like people were saying all on youtube oh you gotta get this oh this one just smells so good it smells it smells okay you know it's okay i i i, I had had it doesn't have a wow factor to me yeah i mean it, it smells okay it's like it's a floral smell it's a light floral smell. It smells it smells good. Um, like I said, but it's not anything about Delina that gives me a wow factor. Like, oh my gosh, I just have to have it. Um, some fragrances are worth the hype. Some are not. In my opinion, this one is not worth the hype. It's an okay perfume to get, but yeah, I, I don't see myself spending all that money for something that does not have a wow factor to me. And that's just my personal opinion. Um you know, like I said, some perfumes are overhyped on YouTube. Some of them are worth the hype. This is one I don't feel like is worth the hype, but I did want to give it another go and see if maybe it was just me, maybe how I was feeling that day. Maybe it wasn't mixed with my body cam. I, I don't know. I just wanted to give it another go. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the oil. I mean, it was $1. So if it doesn't wear well on my skin, I can get this to one of my, one of my cousins, one of my aunts. Like I said, it doesn't stink, but it does not have a wow factor to me um, why it was getting all that hype on YouTube. It does not have that to me. Moving on to the next one. All right. Now, this one that I'm going to show you guys, I already told you. I already tried a sample um, in a couple videos back. You know, go and check that video out where I was trying some of the samples to let you guys know if I was going to get the big bottle or not. In that video, I did say I am going to get this big bottle. However, um, still going to get it, but I saw my oil lady had the oil, so I had to go ahead and get it, and that is a Valentino. I don't know why it's not 
clear enough. But anyway, so let me just give you some of the notes in here. Um, it's bergamot, musk, and orange blossom. If you know me and you're not new here, you know I love anything that has orange blossom in it. Love musk in a base note. Ooh. Yeah. Those are two of my favorite notes along with like sandalwood, amber. You'll see. Stay. Become part of the family. Hit that subscribe button and stay. You, you, you'll start to see... Uh, you'll start to see like the little pattern with the things I like, but yeah, Ooh, this smells just like the perfume, y'all. Oh, smells so good. And I got two of these. I'm showing you one, but I, I got two of these. I, yeah. But like I said, you already knew that I said that I was going to get me the full bottle of perfume. But when I saw the oil, like I said, my oil lady, she hits the like, I'm telling you a hundred percent. My oil lady hits the mark when it comes to her oil smelling like the perfume. So, and like I said, and they're a dollar. You know, when you buy perfumes and lotions and body sprays and stuff, that, it is not always the cheapest, but for one dollar, for one <sighs> Okay, so <laughs> moving on to the next one. Okay, now this one, I have never really gotten... A chance to really smell like I've never really been interested in it um I have a couple fragrances by Mace, Mason Francis Kirk John I hope I say his name right this that's how I'm gonna say it but um this one I just I don't know I, I've never even tried it I, I I don't know why but um I have been seeing it a little bit on YouTube side to side let me get the oil let me try and see and that is Brand Soir I've never actually smelled, I've never smelled it. Um, I don't know why, like I said, I have a couple different perfumes from him, um, but I just never smelled this one. So let me go ahead and give you the notes. It is Amber, Tonka Bean, and Lavender. Let's get my first impression because I've never, hmm. Okay. So what I get the most is the amber and the tonka bean and that. Okay, that smells like it's gonna smell good. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna let you guys know in a later video what I think about that. But right now, out of the bottle, that 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 smells that smells good. Okay. So let's okay. We trying new stuff for a dollar, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um, so <laughs> moving on to the next fragrance. Um I've heard a lot about this one as well. Now, when I was at Neiman Marcus, I did go and smell this one. Um, like I said, it was one that was hyped up on YouTube. I didn't, I don't know why I was hyped. Like, so I'm revisiting this one as well with my oils. Because like I said, some of these perfumes cost uh, a pretty penny. So this one is Barreto Gypsy Water. And so many people were like, oh, that smells good. And it was, a, it's been a while since I smelled this one at Neiman Marcus, but I didn't buy it. So it had to be something or, or I, no, uh, I could have just found something that I thought smelled better. So I don't remember if this was bad or good. So we're revisiting this one because it's been a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> it probably was good. I probably just, I probably, I think I ended up getting the Creed, um, Royal Princess Oud over this but okay oh okay <laughs> if this is what it, it smells good it says it has lemon vanilla pine needles and sandalwood i smell that lemon and that vanilla oh i got an idea of what the mix is with but that's a different video but this smells good i smell the lemon and i smell the vanilla oh that smells good oh okay that smells good so, yeah, something must have beat it out why I didn't get it. Because it doesn't stink. It smells quite good. I'm aware. I'm going to let you guys know. But right now, I'm just showing you what I got. Okay. Now, these last two, they are not, you know, like when you get your oils from the, the oil people. In my case, it's the oil lady. A lot a lot more people have an oil man, but I got an oil lady. She sell hers for a dollar. So, Find you an oil lady because they don't get over on you like some of these men charging three, four, five dollars or three for ten or something like that. But anyways, 
We don't talk about the price, like, mm, for the other people. But these last two, you know how, like, the old person, probably in your area, they have some um, that are not based off, like, uh, or impressions of perfumes or, you know, like, the regular one, like, the one that people know mo most is, like, the Egyptian musk. <laughs> people in my family know that one good. I know a couple people that, um, <laughs> that wear Egyptian musk still today. <laughs> And then I think that thing was popping back in the 90s. I was born in the 90s, so I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so these two, they're not um, impressions of perfumes. They're just two oils that I thought that smelled good. I'm going to tell you what I think is in them because I've never heard of them before. But the first one is called Shorty Sexy. Y'all took me... A little while to get this shorty sexy because I'm from down south and we say shouty. So I was about to say shouty, but it says shorty sexy, but it smells really good. Oh, yeah, it smells good. It smells like it smells like candy. That's what it smells like. Like caramel candy, like caramel apple candy, like those Werther's. I think that's what it, what they call words. It's like the the caramel candies. They got like that um apple filling on the inside. I'll pop a picture up here, but this is what this smells like. <sighs> yeah, that's what this smells like. That's what shorty sexy smells like. It smells like a caramel apple or caramel candy. Yeah. 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 All right. And the last one that I have, that one is just simply called exotic. Y'all, this smells like passion fruit and peaches. Like I said, they make some of them up. And I don't have the notes on them, but this smells like passion fruit and peaches. Yeah. Oh, I smell peach. Hold on, let me see. And a little pineapple. That's what this smells like. This is a fruity bomb. Yeah, the three peas. Passion fruit, pineapple, and peaches. That's what this smells like. Yeah. Ooh, I can't wait to wear this. All right, y'all. So, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the new oils that I've added to my collection. Um, I will be back with the update, let you know how they wear on my skin. But I just wanted to, again, just show you guys the body oils that I added to my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.